Stan Jabalisco here to explain the concept of a compression wave, a compression sound wave in particular. And to that end, I'd like to provide you with an illustration from one of my books, The Illustrated Dictionary of Electronics, 8th edition. Uh, you may still find a few of those paper-bound books around. Not many, I don't think. Mostly electronic books now, but here's the way that it works just as a quick illustration. Sound waves in the air are examples of compression waves. Here's the sound wave as it might look on an oscilloscope, the signal in an audio amplifier, for example. Maximum amplitude, minimum amplitude, maximum amplitude, minimum amplitude, instantaneous in terms of time. If you plot the density or pressure of the air at each instant corresponding with this signal wave, you get something that looks like that. Darkest means there are the most air molecules per unit volume, per, for example, per cubic millimeter, and lightest indicates the fewest air molecules per unit millimeter. And in, in the Earth's atmosphere at sea level, sound waves like this, compression waves, travel at approximately 1,100 feet per second. 1100 feet per second. That's how you know, for example, that if you see a flash of lightning and you hear the thunder five seconds later, you can be pretty sure that that lightning bolt was about a mile away, about 5500 feet. So that is what a compression wave looks like. Sound waves don't travel as compression waves in certain materials, for example, under water because water can't be compressed, so there's a different mode of wave propagation for sound waves underwater or through various metals and things like that. But in the air where the molecules can be compressed, this is how it works. The direction of, of wave travel is from left to right along this uh, illustration and these compression zones and non-compression zones move along at 1100 feet per second. This is obviously a sine wave like you might find an audio tone, a pure audio note. So that is the definition in a nutshell of a compression wave, which by the way cannot occur in the relative vacuum of outer space. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.